Hey guys, I'm Renan Lopez and on this video we will talk about React Hooks, Use State and Use Effect. We will get an old application using class components and lifecycle methods and translate into the new way to handle components with React Hooks. We put them side by side to see the differences, so stay tuned! To start, um, let's do a quick overview and what we build here. So first I use the Create React app. So I created a basic application. I removed the basics CSS who came um, into the Create React app. I imported the CSS from Bootstrap and I installed React Bootstrap and Bootstrap here um, into the application to have the styles, okay? So then I created uh, the component did mount to fetch the data, the component did update to do the counters of how much likes you give on, on the photos, and I have the handle like here, and I have all these components with the styles and so on. And here, in our application, basically you have the counter here with um, how much uh, likes you gave, and then you have the toggle um, like, basically. And this we count all the time you click. This is um, the application where you update. So to start, I will create a new file here called app hook js and i will put this side by side and we you start writing um the react hooks and seeing the differences between the old way to handle stuff and now with the hooks first i will get the import from react and i will write function app and this function will return on gsx okay uh, let's put here just uh, an h1. Now I need to set the state. Um, before we used to have this state and we put the echo and the object with um, our state. Now what we need to use is something called use state. So we need to import from react use state. I need to use the structure here. So I use const, let's see, photos and set photos. Um, what this mean? The photos is the actual data, the state, and the set photos is a function to update the state. So you don't use, for example, this dot set state anymore. You use the set photos. And here you say use state, and then you set up the initial value. I will put an empty array. So I'm doing the same as this in here, okay? So let's do the same for likes. Let's say set likes and I would say use state and I'll say zero for now and that's all we need to do with state and then later on we will set the state so before we used to have this component it mount so we need to run this just once right when we render the component we will fetch this data from the API now we have something called use effect the use effect is a function and this function receives two parameters. The first one will be a function and the second one will be an empty array. And I will explain you why. The first is the function you need to run. In that case, I will copy and paste the fetch. Okay, cool. And here the second is, soon as just want to run one time, then I just use an empty array. And uh, we will see how we can use the second parameters after we go through the component did update. But for now, let's finish the component did mount. Here inside of the function, we fetch the data from the API. Then we receive a promise and then resolve the promise, transforming this in a, the response in a JSON. Then this response.json, we return another promise and then we use the then again. So here here we set the state, but then we use the this.set state here. This is the old way to handle state, right? So now what we need to call the set photos. So we call set photos, and inside of the function we pass a parameter the data. So now we are setting the photos. So that's it's cool. That's um, we translated our component did mount. Now let's translate the component did update. What we are doing the component did update. Basically, we create a constant called photo liked with future the photos with the photo like so it means we just get the photos was liked and then we check with the previous state if have the same length or not and then we update the state now we handle this differently we use the use effect again the second parameter we have photos 
why we have photos here because photos is what we are counting right because the previous state dot likes will counting by the change of photos liked so every time photos change to have a like we need to count it again so the component did update pass through here and then we check the likes and set the likes on the state so here every time you click on like on a photo the photos will be updated and then we run the use effect again and here basically we will have photos like and stuff like that and then we set likes and this set likes will receive photos liked photos like dot length every time photos change go to use effect and set the likes we have the handle like handle like it's basically the same um the only change is the way we set the state so here you don't have these dot state dot photos even here this um, is wrong because this dot state dot photos we don't have this dot state anymore so we just have photos it's a variable and now we have um the photos dot map we pass through the photo and then we check if the photo ID is equal to the ID passed on the handle like and here we set the state but instead of set state again we need just the set photos right so set photos and then we pass new photos so what we are doing here basically we look through all the photos using the map and then for each photo we check if the photo have a like and then okay now toggle it this is a negative of the photo like or return just the photo and that's it just checking the id of the photo they return the like or return just the photo and here actually we have a function because it's not a class anymore so now we have a function called handle like now we get this return with all the gsx we had before I will put them here and here I need to remove everything who have this dot state because we don't have state anymore we have the likes and we have the photos variable and they are here let's now just import the app hook instead of the app and then we see if everything works let's export uh, default I forgot to export and I forgot to import all of the let me copy from here because I'm using basically the same components I just changing the react hooks handle like it's not been used okay then it's because we are using the the this here let me save it now everything looks working fine so let me refresh okay you have the likes is not working um this is length like this that's why it wasn't working so now I have um, you have zero likes and when you like it it will change and count again so basically that is the difference and uh, you can see here the old way to write the component and here the new way to write components with react hooks so that's it guys thank you and if you like the video please subscribe and give your like see you soon